I had this, this small goal of wanting to make it to Rogue. Except for a freaking wing, I was like, oh my god, that takes more out of you than the workout. I was like, I'm so far behind and everything, so I don't want to do it. And I was like, shut up and just do it and see where you stand. Snorri's crying here. Kind of. We're getting there. 12 hours to go, I got an email from them saying that my score was invalid. Hello friends, we are reunited here in Simma Gym in Iceland. 8th of September, so I've been in Iceland for a month now. Uh, it's just been a bit refreshing to come back home. <laughs> I haven't been in Iceland for so long now. It's, I was in Dubai for most of last year, so I had to come home and start sorting out the, the boring stuff and just getting things back together and getting back into routine. Yeah, coming home from, the, the, uh, from America and, and being at the games and, and just get that light lit up in my heart of wanting to compete. I had this, this small goal of wanting to make it to Rogue. Like rehab has been going so well and everything. So I was like, I really want to be ready before those freaking qualifiers. So as soon as I came to Iceland, like just get back to routine and try to get us ready before the 25th as possible. Um, and then the workouts got released. And unfortunately I had not been doing any legless rope climbs yet or just I've just been doing a little bit of gymnastics of testing where I was and how my elbow was handling it because I didn't want to rush anything. And, uh, and it's always when you think like, I'm sure there won't be any like this. And then of course they come up. <laughs> but it was actually a very good thing for me that they came up because it's just like, a, it's just a challenge that like, it's a fear that needed to be overcome and that fear needs to be overcome under pressure but it's good that I got the chance to do it under pressure in my own gym and in my control so I was, I was very lucky that it actually came out and I didn't hate that it was mixed with Devil's Press, my favorite moment or one of my favorite moments but the, the workouts were, I looked at the workouts and I said holy, I have not snatched over 70 kilos the last three months. I have not had this high intensity in a workout. I have not done legless rope climbs. I, I found all the excuses not to do the qualifiers and not to sign up and how I wasn't ready and anything. And that's exactly why I took the decision of doing them to push myself a little bit out of my comfort zone and actually see where I stand. So the workouts, were awesome and I mean the biggest surprise of all of this was just that I was just performing way better than I expected. I didn't even expect to finish the snatch workout under a time cap and I was 1025 like or 1024 like I was just very surprising and I remember when I did the chipper I uh, said like midway in the workout like I don't want to do this I I don't think this is the right day to do this I'm too tired uh, I this isn't the right time like I had all the excuses of not to do it and I was like shut up just go just keep on going keep on going and uh, I think I even said it afterwards of like I wanted to quit the whole time <laughs> I want to quit from the beginning. Oof. And I remember messaging Justin, my coach, after. I was just like, 
I had to go very dark today. I did not want to do this workout, but I finished it and we have a score. So let's just see if it's good enough or not. I had no faith that it would be good enough because of how I felt in the workout. And it actually ended up being two minutes faster than second place. So that was the biggest surprise. <laughs> so I'd, I'd done all the workouts and it was Sunday and I had until midnight Monday to do them or to repeat if I wanted. Uh, I put my score in uh, on Monday morning and then I'm doing like a easy sweat and then I was gonna repeat the legless one and then like 12 hours to go, I got a email from them saying that my score was invalid because of the barbell. So, uh, so I just was thinking, fuck, am I really gonna repeat four workouts here in 12 hours when I have not done legless and I've maxed out in overhead squats? I actually messed that workout up, so I had to repeat it after I did it on uh, Sunday. So I did the, that workout twice, the very short rest between. So I was like, am I really gonna put this much volume of maxing three times in 24 hours, doing lots of legless rope climbs again, doing bar muscle ups. Like, is it gonna be worth it? And will I even have good enough scores to be able to qualify for putting my body through that? And of course, the, the devil on the shoulder here was like, yes, Sarah, let's go. You only live once. And then the angel here that's like, Sarah, listen to your long-term goal here and be smart for once. So this angel here won. And I, yeah, like I said, I just went to the gym and, and weighed the barbell and put that in with the videos and hope for the best. But like the hardest lesson learned here is that it's, it's my responsibility and it's my mistake. It's nobody's fault but mine and it's a stupid mistake. And I also did other small mistakes in the, in the recordings. And so it's just a hard lesson learned, but there's so much positives that came out of this. And the biggest thing is that I actually felt like an athlete for the first time since semifinals again. I could actually push myself and I was enjoying pushing myself. I wasn't in fear of getting injured or anything. And I was able to do things that I didn't think I was capable of in the, in the shape that I'm in now. So like, like Justin said, he's like, you've had no consistent training. You just have to do what you can do right now and like, just enjoy it. And that's definitely what I did.
faktiskt är all. Oh my god. Oof. That's very good. Except for freaking weighing all these plates. Oh my god, that takes more out of you than the workout. <laughs> Holy shit. But yeah, it was, it was very good. I, I, I thought I would not finish under time cap. And then Caitlin sent me her time at 11.56 and I was like, yeah, and I, I was thinking, I was like, I don't think I should do the qualifiers. <laughs> I was like, I'm so far behind and everything, so I don't want to do it. And I was like, shut up and just do it and see where you stand. Shut, shut, your, shut your mouth. I, oh, I, I think we've had enough Shut, shut for here. one second. Shut, 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 shut your mouth. I needed someone to Wait, shut your mouth. With. Shut, shut your, shut. I missed how adrenaline can make you strong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Snorri's crying here. Well, kind of. It's, it's actually sweat, but I <laughs> might cry a little in the shower later. <laughs> We're only 25 kilos away from Snorri being vegan. It's <laughs> yes. been since 2019, so... Then I'll cry. Yeah, then, then you'll I'll cry. cry. <laughs> so, although I didn't qualify, I'm actually just super proud of my performance and surprised. So, I'm excited to share with you guys what's brewing. But the only thing now is just get back to work. So. We're getting there. <laughs> <laughs>